Hey there, BCSD third graders. Today I wanted to make a video to help you out with fact fluency when it comes to addition. I haven't made an addition video yet, and really this is a second grade skill, but it's really good to review these skills as we go through our third grade year. So let's get started. For use any strategy, the strategy that I really like to do and I'm just adding without any kind of drawing aid is um, adding with expanded form. Now, with expanded form, what we have to do is break apart the number into its values. And I'll show you what I mean here with just 123. Um, I'm going to work kind of backwards since when we're adding or subtracting, we're used to starting with the ones place and we work our way up. The value of the number in the ones place is 3. Okay, now the value of the number in the tens place is 20, not two. I know there's a two in the tens place, but the value of that number is 20. Okay. And that's because there's one place value after the tens place. So I need that placeholder next to my two. Okay. And then uh, that, uh, the placeholder would be my zero in 20. Okay. Moving on. And then we have the value of the number in the hundreds place is 100. Now, I'll know that I've done expanded form correctly if I add all these numbers back up again and I get the number that I started with. So 100 plus 20 is 120, and then plus 3 equals 123. Okay, I just wanted to do that little mini lesson of expanded form really quickly so that you would better understand what I'm about to do with the adding strategy. But I'm erasing this to give myself some more room here. So moving on, the way that I would apply expanded form with addition is, again, I'm going to write this out broken up, the value of each number, okay, there's 123 broken up into expanded form. Now 57, there's no number in the hundreds place, so we're not going to write anything underneath the hundred, okay. Um, we're going to start with 50, and then we have plus 7. Okay, so now I just add straight down, kind of like I normally would if I'm adding vertically. Uh, three plus seven is 10. Now I have two choices here. I could go ahead and regroup if I want, or I can just write the 10 as it is right here. Um, because with expanded form, um, where the same rules that I, that apply to adding things vertically, um, it's it works a little differently because you have these plus signs, right? So if you choose to bring if you choose to bring it down and write your ten here, that's fine. But then just keep the plus sign, okay? Okay. Now we're gonna add twenty plus fifty. That's seventy. Okay, and again keep your plus sign. And then one hundred. We're just gonna bring that one hundred down. Now to get my final answer, I just add everything together. 100 plus 70 is 170, and then plus 10 equals 180. Okay, so now I know my answer, and I'm going to prove it another way by using models or visuals. And for this, I really like to do a hundreds chart or a place value chart. So I'm going to make a place value chart with ones, tens, and hundreds. And I'm going to draw my numbers back like when we learned in second grade how to use our manipulatives to represent numbers. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm even going to do it in orange to remind you of those lovely manipulatives. So I'm going to start building this number in picture form. And um, I'm going to start with my ones place. I'm going to have three ones. One, two, three. And I'm going to have two tens, and those are tens sticks, remember? And then I have a, a one in the hundreds place, and those were like big squares. Okay, now, whoops, there we go. I'm going to draw a line under here, addition sign. Okay, I'm going to start making my next number, 57. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then I need my tens sticks. One, two, three, four, five. 
Okay. Nothing in the hundreds place. Now I'm um, going to start combining. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, I have ten. And I know that I need to be regrouping when I have ten in one place value. So I'm going to circle that. And I'm going to bring it on over to the tens place. And I'm going to trade all of those ones. So those, those ones are gone. Boom. Getting rid of them. And I'm trading them for another 10 stick. Okay. So now let's see what I have in my 10s. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Would you look at that? I've got 8 in my 10s place. I can go ahead and just bring my zero, 0 down into my 1s place also. And then I have 1 in my 100s place. So again, I get my final answer as 180. I've just proved it in two different ways using two different addition strategies. All right, write a story. Okay, I need to get creative here and think about a situation where I would add these two numbers. What's something that people have a lot of? Um, well, some people collect things. And so when you collect something, usually you have a lot of that thing, like Pokemon cards, for example. Let's pretend like, um, like I'm collecting Pokemon cards. So Mrs. Whitman has 123 Pokemon cards. She adds, look at that math language there. She adds 57 new cards to her collection. How many cards does she have in all? All right, almost done. And now, how do you know your answer is correct? Now, I want to write about um, one of the strategies that I just demonstrated for you and, and explain to people how I did that in word form. So I think I'm going to write about my model that I made on the place value chart. Um, I'm going to say I like to practice talking it out first. So I'll say something like... Um, I um, I drew the number 123 on the place value chart and as and I uh, drew the number 57 on the place value chart and when I combined the three and the seven in the ones place I uh, got 10 so I regrouped with the tens place and then I got eight in the tens place and one in the hundreds place giving me my final answer of 180. Whew, that's a lot to think about, a lot to include there. Let's, uh, let's hope I can squeeze it all in. I drew the numbers 123 and 57 in the place value chart. When I combined three and seven in the ones place, I got 10. So I regrouped. I then got eight in the tens and one in the hundreds. I'm sure there was probably a more concise way to explain all of that, but that's what I came up with. And as long as it makes sense, that's all that matters. All right. I hope that helps you figure out how to do the math fluency page for an addition fact. I'll see you next time. Bye.